Welcome to another video, and today I'll be talking about the Han Tengu sneak peek that was released for Rogue Demon. This sneak peek looks pretty cool, though we can't tell too much from it. However, it does give us a little peek into what will be released, so it's worth looking into. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, to start things off, here's a sneak. As we can see, it's a little slammed down on the ground, with red lightning particles getting emitted. Seeing as this is the only thing shown, all we have to go off of are the effects. So, with that being said, it's really open in the air to see exactly how this move works. It could be a lock-on move that stuns people from a distance, or a close-range combo extender. There's not too much to be told from this. However, if I had to guess, I presume that CZ is going to end up making this a close-range move, seeing as he slams the staff down on the ground in front of him. Judging from how the anime goes, it's also pretty likely that the main weapon used for this moveset will be a staff. I'd also guess that each move is going to be named after the part of Hantengu that it comes from, so you can generally have an idea of the move names at the very least. For the general moveset itself, there's a lot of material for the developers to work with. Because Hantengu has so many moves, the amount of stuff that could be adapted is very large. What I'm most interested about though is the wood dragons, because those things are absolutely massive in scale. If those do end up in the game, it'll most definitely be the ultimate, but if they're too big, then it could end up like Saitama Battlegrounds. However, I'm guessing CZ has a general idea of how he's going to make it so that everything in the moveset is well balanced and nothing is too overpowered. My idea of how the anger move is going to work is probably just this. You slam the staff on the ground and anyone in a small radius in front of you gets stunned for a really long time. Normal combo extender and pretty simple to make. Alternatively, it could be a lock on move where you choose your target, strike them with lightning and they get stunned for a while. Regardless of how he does it, I have a feeling this is going to be a strong move, though it might be a textbook one. Alright, so thinking about what the Han Tengu moveset could be like, I'm guessing it's going to be a bit of like a mix of things, because with how Han Tengu currently is in the anime, he's got all of these like different personalities with their different abilities and stuff, so I'm guessing that Han Tengu is most likely just going to end up as a class with like all kinds of different things that can do different thing like a bunch of stuff when the situation calls for it which might actually end up being pretty unique i know i said like flame was a jack of all trades but if hang to if hand tengu turns out the way i think it'll be it'll be even more of a jack of all trades than flame is currently so we'll see how it turns out but i'm interested to see how it goes and with how many moves he has in the anime there's definitely a lot of material for the developers to work out with. Um, I'm interested to see how they adapt his wood dragons, if they even adapt them at all, though. Because, like, those things are big as, like, they, those things are extremely big, so if they tried to make something like that, I'm not going to stop. This is a PvP game. But, anyways, yeah. How they adapt that will be interesting to see. Because, like, I don't know if it's... I don't know how they're going to adapt something like really big like that without, you know, <laughs> turning this game into Saitama Battlegrounds on accident. But hey, whatever happens, happens. <sighs> I'm going to jump this guy with a 5 player kill streak. Because that'll be fun. But, um, I'm guessing, just to speculate a bit, the anger move will probably end up being somewhere around like a... Something like a move made to, made made for close range maybe, or it could be a like AOE move that you have to block, or it could even be a lock on. There's a lot of ways they could adapt that actually, so it's all up to, it's all to see like how the developers do with it. Maybe it's a lock on that strikes lightning down, and I'm gonna kill this big mic guy. I don't like people like trying to take my kills. Um, but yeah, it could also be a close range move like you stomp the gr like you. Okay, k screw off! Um, you hit the ground with the lightning staff, and then it stuns the person in front of you. Or, it's just like some big AoE at the block, which would also be cool. There seems to be a decent enough amount of startup on the move, so like, it'd be fair for it to be like that. So, you know. We'll see how it goes. And why does everyone always go after the guy at the kill streak? I just want to 1v1 him. Let me just kill the big mic guy, I don't like him. Oh. I accidentally- okay, that guy's gonna actually probably die. But, anyways. Oh my god! Okay, but, other than that, 
There's the little leaf blow thing, which is probably gonna end up being a ranged projectile. Maybe a combo ender, though I could I could definitely see CZ uh, giving it two versions if he wanted to. Like one's a combo ender that range projectile and the other's a close range combo extender. But we'll see how that turns out. Also very plausible that it ends up as an evasive too, since it since you can blow people away. So that could also be a possibility. There, like the thing about Ham Tengu is that there's so much to material to work with that it's really open in the air to see what the developers end up doing. And yeah, mostly I'm just interested to see how the developers decide to work with what they're given, because with all this material, there's a lot they can do. Uh. Oh yeah, there's also the so the um sound guy, the sound personality that the Han Tengu has. That's probably also going to end up as a range projectile, though. That that's yeah, I'm guessing it's going to end up as a range projectile. Maybe a grab actually, since I think they since I think the demon did do a grab in the anime. And other way, yeah, other way it gets adapted. It that one will be interesting to see. Was this guy already low? Dang- Oh, no, remember- Okay, I can't believe I fell for that. Wow. Oh, very smooth brain of me. But... Oh, okay. Oh my god. What is happening to me? Ugh. It's hard to focus. Oh my god, flashbang. Come on, come on. Okay. What is this? Anyway, speaking of like, I never made a video on string performance actually, but that move is actually really good. Well, I don't know about how about it being good for ga the game's balance, but like, it is a very good move. Like insanely good. It makes up for the one weakness that s that sound has, which is the fact that it lacks a lot of range and mobility options. Cause like with this sound move, you can like zoom around and catch up to anyone who tries to run away. Also, as a side note, that one sun move is really stupid. That's pra It's practically unavoidable, which is the main thing. If it was like blockable or easy to dodge, then yeah, there'd be no reason to complain about it, but that thing right now in its current state is really dumb. Because like, it's just a free 30 damage once you get low. Also, I'm just gonna end this guy's streak. Poor guy, sorry. Uh, but yeah. I think that's where we'll end this video off. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, because it helps out a lot. As always, I am Noob Eternally, and I will see you next time in another video. Thanks for watching, and bye.